Well, welcome to Vintage and Antiques and we're going to show you our little trip this morning where we went to the Norfolk showground to the Antiques and Collectors Fair that's run by one of the big international antiques fair companies. There were a really good range of stalls this afternoon to visit and we're going to stick around and show you exactly what we bought so do stay tuned for our show and tell. We're going to show you over some of the things that we've come back from the Antiques Fair this uh, afternoon with. This is the first little thing. Kate's bought this. It's a little Peter Scott, isn't it? Reproduction, frame print, nice period piece. Why did you go for that? Just love it. Makes love me think it. of Norfolk and the geese that visit here every year. The colours are just very Norfolk. I mean, whenever you see these, you end up buying them. I can't help you? it. You I just love them. It. It's a nice piece. It's a, a local vintage frame. from Norwich. Lovely old frame. Complete with a little bit of uh, oh no, what looks like woodwork. No, it's not woodwork. Well. It's fly poo. <laughs> Is it fly, fly poo? poo? Oh, marvelous! Vintage fly poo. <laughs> but you know, it has got some age to it. It's probably what little spider's web there. The <laughs> yeah. old brown paper and the Hope lovely no old accident. string with the little hooks on it. Probably nineteen. Well, when it was done, Peter Scott was produced the original probably in nineteen fifties. So it's probably going back to nineteen sixties or seventies. This isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's a nice little thing. Uh, not a big print, but period piece, Peaceful local colours. interest, Suffolk, Norfolk, and the pink-footed geese coming in is one of his most recognised pieces. Is it, are they pink-footed geese? I'm pink not sure. Pink-footed geese, yeah, okay. it says so on the back. Look, Peter oh. Scott, oh, okay. pink feet, coming into roost. I treated, <laughs> had a quick look. Yeah, nice little buy. Uh, see why you bought that. I know it's right up your street. Right, let's show something that I bought. You know me. Right, here we go. Nice pair of Royal Albert, dear. Nothing too fancy, nothing too rare. Oh, lovely. I love the colour. They recognise this at all. How old do you think this is? Oh my goodness. Um, uh, golly, that's difficult. Uh, 1970s? Yep, yeah, spot on. Oh, Absolutely I'm good at spot this. on. From the Regal series. They made these in a series of colour, and this one just grabbed me because combination of the well the condition of it and the, the bright colours. It's coming out quite yellow on that, but in the interior light here it's quite golden this rich buttercup yellow classic royal albert montrose style really nicely marked with the uh, 4396 uh, reference number for this series made by royal albert in the 1970s made in england classic montrose styling um, i think that'll do very well on vintage and antiques real nice little piece and really pretty. so bright really pretty and gilt, the gilt conditions looks like it's never really just look at that used. handle i don't think it's it's been in a cabinet all its life, it's I'm beautiful. sure. There's no wear on that at all. Absolutely lovely. A little bit of dust. <laughs> bit of dust. Needs a good wipe out. It's just come out of the packet. Yeah. Needs a wash. Okay. Show us what else. What else have you got? Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Hold on. Careful. Sorry, nearly dropped something. Okay. Wow. What's in the bag? Are you going to unwrap or shall I unwrap? You unwrap. I nearly dropped it. Oh. No, that's right. Up my street as well, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous piece of, it's a substantial piece of ironstone that, isn't it? Probably 10, 10 and a half inch, maybe pushing on 11 inch. Rimmed English soup bowl, absolutely gorgeous. I love the little butterfly design on this. It's basically a transfer print that then has been decorated in enamels by the decorators and hand gilted. Real ironstone china on the back, an ironstone china, but... There is a pattern number there. There's no is, is that date hand stamps finished? on it. Well, it's hand decorated, this yes, like but no what, maker's it, marks. There's, there's, like no, there's nothing on here. It's going to take there. quite a bit of research to find out who made that and when. Um, because these marks were used, you know, basically across a range of factories at that period. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the styling love the around the edge. I just love the colours. The grit Einstein, the bluish. It's just, and then the colour combination. Those colours make, I don't know what date would you say it is, because those colours make me think I think 1900s. Ashworth's. Do you think it's older than that? Early Masons. Um, it you know, sometimes they catch you out and you, you we'll, we'll put it through Google Lens, we'll see what comes up. Somebody may have other pieces on this where they've got a factory and some more date information on it. If I was pushed, I'd probably say 1870s through to 1890s, but it could be right the way through to 1910. If you recognise it, doing that. pop in comments. We're always happy for yeah. your input. We'll Google Lens it, we'll do the research, but that's an absolutely beautiful and very heavy and substantial piece of iron. Well done, that's really nice. I love it. 
and in fantastic condition. Oh. Again, you know, whenever you're buying these things, it's worthwhile just checking over to look for damage around the rims. This one's got its lovely brown rim still in very good condition. Little you bit know, of, little well, bit of. At its age, it's, it's, you allow yeah. that. You yeah. know, that 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 is part of its character. pattern. If it didn't have that, you'd be thinking, oh, it's something. too perfect. Absolutely. And again, on the surface, you should have a little bit of... Uh, wear and knife marks this is incredibly clean it's just it's very, actually isn't it very occasional knife or spoon mark on there but it's absolutely beautiful yeah love it absolutely yeah, gorgeous beautiful. right turn. well from something very very old my next purchase i don't think uh, well, let me see if i can guess it's a pretty thing oh uh is it english or german crown derby oh okay very, i was thinking very maybe english. it was german You're thinking dresden <laughs> yeah oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, this show is... me the back. I mean, that's the clue. Oh, okay, yes. That's a modern... Uh, modern Crown China Derby mark. stamp, yeah. isn't it? 1996. Oh, wow. Derby's lovely when you come to date it. Lovely, All the bright, recent bright stuff. China. This is Ormiston Road. Royal Crown Derby. Derby Days. She's a lovely pattern. Very sort of, you know, early 18th century and it's sort of floral Englishness. Again, with these beautiful butterflies, all transfer printed, no no hand decoration on here at all. May have been a little bit of guilt put on it, but I just fell for that because one, it was a good price and it's so pretty and it's Royal Crown Derby and the condition again. It's beautiful. Really nice, good shine on the glaze, good gilt retention all the way around. I love the sort of fluted scallop uh, mold that they've used on this. And we know that these, they're very popular. People love them for what they are. Little dessert paint. I think it's probably a little over eight inches. Really nice treat for Valentine's or Mother's Day. Would be a lovely present. Yeah. I'd be happy it's if really, really nice. That. So pretty. Well, it would look myself. nice even on a, a dresser yeah. or. A, Saw that and thought, yeah. Quality's right. Condition, everything is very right. Very pretty. Okay. What's I your... like that. Okay, oh, my, my next one is not China. Oh, so this is so you, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. I just, I just love these beetle boot jacks. I can't, I just can't resist them it's when I see nice them. It's a very nice one. It's got a lovely pattern on it. Nice. I think it's vintage. I don't think it's not no, an antique. No, I don't think it's, it's not an old, old antique one. And the clue on that is basically on the back, isn't it? And it's the pattern. too clean yeah. in there for it to be of substantial age. No maker's marks anywhere, unfortunately. But it's a nice weight. One and a half pounds. It's a good big one as well. 700 700 grams mm. yeah nice size very practical very, very ornate nicely decorated they've got you know it's a good quality one because the detail is right on it it's really nice with the molding and you know on the antenna here on the bootle jack the bit yeah. business end absolutely lovely lovely for pulling your boots nice off. feet nice and substantial <laughs> good weight i know you love those and buy them when you see them don't they yeah yeah no i like that he's beautiful isn't he much nicer than the modern reproduction ones that are Right, last bit to show you. Oh, have I not got anything else? Huh. I'm very, very strained. <laughs> I think you're going to like these. We'll what bring them a little that? lower down in ours better. Do that? That's very pretty. How many have you got? I've got a pair of these. Ah, oh, they're very, they look, they look almost royal. They're so beautiful. They're a very emporial style, I th aren't Yes. They? I think if you went to dinner at the palace, they might have those. Oh, absolutely. This is top, top end in terms of both the China manufacturer and the, the gilt on English? these. English? Spode. Wow. Oh, these are textured. You can feel this. There's little dots in that glaze. Oh, my the goodness. Decoration. The detail it's, on it's it. Not and just that's hand, hand gilded. Hand gilded, yeah. That's Absolutely incredible. hand gilded. Rich Absolutely 24 incredible. karat gold all the way around the edges. Gilt decoration over this rich, absolutely flawless cobalt blue. That's it, beautiful. Then with that central... Banding again with this little decorator, the knob, you can feel it all, the absolutely gold, the gorgeous. Gold on them. And they were sold originally through Philips, a very well respected New Bond Street uh, dealer. So these were posh end pieces of China, Spode's, Copeland Spode China, and the pattern reference on here, we're going to do the research on this, is mm. R416. Should be able to date these, we'll certainly get some clues. Oh, yeah. I wonder well, if actually. somebody's got a whole dinner service of these. They're, They're 1914, they've got date stamps on them. Absolutely Marvelous. incredible. They, they look like one. they belong in a palace, they're so beautiful. Or a seven. So, you know, this comes from the golden age of Spo China manufacture, just pre First World War. After then, the skills to make these things of these qualities. And to put 
that much gold on Basically it. Basically been lost. There's so much gold on those. Oh, and that's Absolutely. real gold, isn't it? It's 24 karat yeah, gold, yeah. It's absolutely incredible. Didn't use anything. Under yeah, that. I think they might be the stars, actually. Stunning. I Have you got anything else? Is that it? That's it. That, that, I was very restrained. I basically bought the Royal Albert, these two, and the, the little Crown Derby, and that was me done. But it was a lovely fair. It well, was really, really good fair. Fun going I can highly recommend going down to an good quality antiques dealers. fair. Big antiques fair is wonderful. Yeah, we've got a little bit of footage we're going to show you just at the end, a bit more of the, uh, the outside stalls on the... Uh, the Antiques Fair down at the showground at Norwich today. I um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching. These pieces uh, will be coming on to one of our websites, Ooh. one or the other. We'll put some links into this video later as these products are actually listed for sale. So do keep tuned. Thanks for watching.